And you know, besides Ben Revere, Dan, there's a lot of guys in this ball club who maybe were not on track early. Now, all of a sudden, everybody's getting on the same page. Johnny, the first, I don't know, four or five weeks of the season, it was pretty much a trio of uh, Bryce Harper, Daniel Murphy, and Wilson Ramos that were carrying this Nationals lineup. But of late, the last handful of weeks, a lot of the guys who have been consistent performers for this Nationals ball club over the last few years have really started kicking it into high gear. Let's start with Jason Wirth and look at what he's been able to do over the last few weeks compared to a slow start. There you see the last 30 games that average up more than 50 points from his first 23 games. Our RBI totals fairly consistent. Ryan Zimmerman has really gotten the power department going of late. Nine, or rather, eight home runs in his last 31 games compared to one in his first 19. And you see the leap in his batting average as well, now up around where we're used to seeing Ryan hit for the bulk of his career, 269 over the last 31 ball games. Anthony Rendon has been the one who has really been on fire of late, hitting 340 in his last 26 ball games. The RBI is skyrocketing from the early part of the season. So these are performers who the Nationals knew would eventually get going. It just took a little bit. Dusty Baker's familiar with slow starts. He probably had some himself as a player. He's loving the way this lineup is going now. He knows that it wasn't going to be everyone clicking right out of the gates game one. Well, from being a hitter, you, you don't always just start off hot. You know, and from seeing good hitters for a long period of time, some start off hot, some start off cold, but the end result is usually they're somewhere around their 10 points or so around their, their, their lifetime average. Uh, probably 10 to 12 home runs, I mean, uh, RBIs around their, around their average. And so, like, that's what I mean by water seeks his own level. I mean, you know, I mean, we're in such a society that Everything is today, and we want it right now, and it doesn't work like that. You know, I mean, that's why this is a long race. This is a long, long race. And but sometimes we treat it as if it was a sprint. No, this is a this is a marathon. This is a long race. And how many times have we seen? I mean, look at the White Sox. I mean, look like they were gonna run away with it. And. and you know, that's why you got to stay on top of your game because it could happen at any time. You don't know when you're capable of having a bad month or or whatever. And you don't, that's why you got to remain confident. You don't know when you're close to getting hot. You don't know that either. So you just got to the, the stay on it and grind and grind and grind on a daily, uh, on a daily basis. So again, we've seen what Bryce Harper, Daniel Murphy, and Wilson Ramos can do in the middle of this Nationals lineup over the course of this season. Now we're seeing what this lineup can do when the table setters, Ben Revere and Jason Wirth, are getting on base on a consistent basis and when Ryan Zimmerman and Anthony Rendon are helping to lengthen that lineup as well and provide some support uh, for those guys in the middle of the order. It's been a consistent, uh, really offensive domination for the Nationals over the last handful of days, as you guys said double digit runs in three straight games they're hoping to go for four tonight and come back home with a series sweep and a seven and two road trip johnny